Hi viewers, welcome back. I am sitting inside the cabin of the Volvo Excavator EC480D. Today I am going to let you know in detail about this uh, onboard computer. How we can use it in detail. I already have made one video just only introduction about this uh, uh, cluster but today I am going to uh, tell you in detail how we can monitor the different functions and uh, how we can uh, making the settings or uh, how we can uh, see the logged error codes because the codes may be we have already resolved the problem but uh, always uh, remain the code inside this uh, uh, machine and you can check that uh, any times that code which uh, come before so first I let you know this one is our keyboard here you can see this is a escape when you press this one you can uh, go uh, back to the back screen and this one select which function you want to want to go in details you have pushed this one and this scroll down and this one is scroll up these are only four uh, buttons we use it so first we press this one okay so this function is a uh, appear this screen is appeared in front of us okay so I use only these two buttons up down and after which function I want to select I want to get the detail use this one and this is we go back the screen okay so I use this one to anyone here you can see this engine first I push select okay oil pressure and oil lever only two functions I press press this one after I will go back I go downside, this is a hydraulic system, I select select button, it only tell us oil temperature and these functions only. I press the escape button, go back screen, now I come downside, this is electrical system. I press electrical select it, so this is only voltage is how much, I don't know how much voltage is only screen showing up this uh, voltage is okay I go back to the back press escape button this is our machine information model number serial number uh, work timers and average fuel consumptions current fuel consumptions like this cabinet temperature how much uh, ambient temperatures like this is the information I want to back select E button, escape button. Now downside, this is our uh, service. This is a service, oil filter service. How much time is remaining? Fuel filter, water separator, hydraulic, all the service. I go back. Now I go to setup. By using this one, I want to work tool. Uh, this is auto idle times language we want to change language units mean if we use our matrix matrix methods or uh, US methods which one we want to are you and this is here we use the time uh, clock format date format and time setting by using this one we can select display light and the keypad backlight mean uh, this is a keypad backlight you can select from this one what is a if you put select how much light you want to uh, if you want to increase through this you can increase so you can see here the lights so this is a keypad light backside night time you can use it by using this one so this lights you can select the keypad backlight so this time I am going to decrease it because uh, no need too much 
is how much light you want to you can select it i want to go back press uh, escape button i go down but only these are i go back and last one is the this is a vehicle message here we select it vehicle message here only message is coming this time no message no message is disappeared go back so these are the functions this already i have made uh, this video now i want to detail so how uh, so this is a main uh, my main uh, purpose of the video now i want to uh, this functions which i already uh, told you if i want to uh, detail information about these functions so what i have to do i go on the service this word here you come okay for detail all these function which i already show you you want to detail information about that one so you come to the service when you select service after maybe 3 to 4 second press this button select button this button you have to select 4 to 5 seconds so 1 2 3 4 so after that you will you can see this one so when you come on the this board select button press 3 to 4 seconds this sign will appear so after that no you go one again one by one all the functions i go up sides when this sign is appeared you can come now i go to the engine so here you can see there is a lot of things are coming engine rpm you can check engine sensor engine status egrs vgt okay and df dpf whatever you want to check you can check it if i press dpf it will give detail of this one exhaust temperature how much is flame temperature how much is dpf inlet temperature dpf outlet temperature dpf difference so in detail you can go in any functions i go select if i go to similarly engine rpm you, you select this one this one you can see engine rpm r0 because this time machine is not start machine in the uh, in the stop position is on but not starting in position so you can engine rpm 0 rpm i request rpm 1 810 rpm and engine load is 0% because engine is now is in an off position so this condition coming so if i go back so engine sensor what are the engine sensors here are the two sensors okay oil pressure sensor before you just only see the oil pressure how much here it will if engine is running you can see how much engine pressure is coming oil temperature how much coming oil level is 100% coolant temperature how much coolant level how much so this is a quantity it will show you the quantities engine status okay so these are the about the engine sensors all the engine sensors are here inlet temperature inlet pressures barometers boost pressures okay this is the engine sensors are here it will when engine will start it will show you all the uh, boost temperature how much is the boost pressure how much inlet temperature how much is and inlet temperature inlet pressure is how much barometer how much so okay so this is a engine sensor number 3 is engine status engine status it will let you know air filter okay air filter fuel pressure how much the fuel pressures how much the fuel rate and fuel used rail pressures how much it will give you detail everything so now number 4 is egr is a egr differential pressure egr temperature it will show you now is number 5 is a vgt turbo speed how much turbo speed last one is a dpf it gave you detail of the exhaust temperature flame temperature differential inlet it will show you all the things okay so this is a number c dpf is a, is a soot level a ash level a it will show you all the details now if i go back now i come to the again go back hydraulic system when we enter the hydraulic it will before it not show you the state now it give you the all things the cooling system 
प्रेशर स्विच प्रेशर सेंसर सोलिनाइड्स सो इफ यू गो इन डिटेल ऑफ एवरीथिंग यू कैन शो डू सपोज आई गो इन द कूलिंग सिस्टम्स सो कूलिंग सिस्टम इट गिव यू द ऑयल टेम्परेचर हाउ मच द कूलिंग फैन स्पीड नंबर वन कूलिंग फैन टू गिव यू ऑल द थिंग्स इन एम्पेयर सिमिलरली अटैच पोर्ट प्रेशर ट्रेवल पोर्ट प्रेशर यानी मशीन इज वैन ट्रेवलिंग हाउ मच इज द प्रेशर वैन इट इज यूज द हैमर दैन हाउ मच प्रेशर इज देयर फ्लोट प्रेशर हाउ मच एवरी थिंग इन डिटेल इट्स गिव यू वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू चेक प्रेशर सेंसर दिस इज सेकेंड प्रेशर सेंसर दिस प्रेशर सेंसर ओके एंड ओवरलोड हाउ मच इज ओवरलोड इट्स ऑल गिव यू डिटेल इस सोलिनाइड्स ओके सोलिनाइड है ट्रेवल मोटर है बूस्ट है फ्लोट पोजिशन क्यूक फिट वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू चेक यू कैन चेक इट्स गिव यू डिटेल ऑफ एवरी थिंग्स हाउ मच इज देयर इफ आई गो टू दिमिलरली what function you want to check you can check from here if i go to electrical system before it was showing you only the uh, battery voltage but now it give give you this a power supply number if you press power supply it give you the how much a power supply 25 points at this time engine is off Gen alternator is not working so voltage is at 20.7 and this is a all ecu I ECU voltages, V ECU voltages, E ECU voltages, and alternator. Is, this time is giving 24 because this is not working. Therefore, this was giving you. Number two is on off input. Okay, it gave you the input to start switch. Okay, these are the inputs, input and outputs. Now this is a on off input number two, which is a, which switch is on, which switch is off. is give you all the informations number 3 now is the analog input i go in analog inputs so these are the analog fuel level and fuel this give you the analog inputs fuel levels how much percent and how many voltages is give you here give you the Voltage is how much and one percent is eighty five a and eighty six percent is need two point two voltage. If the fuel level is less, then it voltage is also will be different. Similarly, ये the power width modulation inputs. So this is a RPM control switch, RPM control switch steps. These are the all the pro port switch, pro port switch three. Okay, this let you know electrical or the electrical. Now, if we go down number five, on a fourth port. This is also give you the VC, VCE cut off relay, VCE status is start lock relay, travel alarm relay, fan reverse alarm relay. It will all let you know which one is open. Now, this is climate system about the let you know about the. Uh, AC system, okay. So in the AC system, cabinet temperature how much? This is how much the cabinet temperature, how much is the ambient, ambient temperature, evaporated temperature, compressor is working or not? Because this machine is off, so zero. It means compressor is off. Blower speed how much? So this gives you detail of all the other things. This is a vehicle message. This is important. So you know before it was showing there was no any error, no message. Now in detail is letting you this is a communication failure. Again communication failure, engine errors, hydraulic system. This all the these all errors which already come before. When this sign was not here, so there here was not any message was there. No all the messages here. These are all that messages which already come before. Now our problem is already resolved, and uh, these uh, messages are coming is logged in. And in time, when again these messages come, we can check what time this message come. Suppose if I I come to first one, first this one, I want to check what time this message come. 
I select it. So it shows you the uh, what was the error code, what was the source. This is a fault. This I'm no fault because this is logged. Error code was this one. Source is IECU. First event. What this come? It came before 29th April 2023. Number of event 10 times it came. Last event is a 11th August. 11 August 2023. So it give you the details. What time that errors come? So any error I want to check what time is come. Suppose this error, engine error water. What time come? This time is a fault active. No error code is SC 2301-05. Source EECU. First event 23rd April 2023. Number of event two times it happen. It and last time it come 28th April 2023. So this was the. Uh, complete details which we have, which we, which we can see about the error code log error codes about any functions we can monitor the any functions which are given in this uh, on board computer oh, so viewers hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share this video to your friends